Hey guys, as you can see, I'm not in the Fat Man's garage and uh, what's his name is hidden back there in the booth. Car's in the paint shop and getting ready to paint. Mr. Man is there prepping the two bumpers from the other M3. He got some stone chip he wants to get rid of. This one's here gonna be painting after those. I have side skirts and diffuser and spoiler and everything in there that he's gonna paint and clear and then we're going to do the car afterward. But this thing almost didn't get painted because all this time, He's a wanker. <laughs> All this time, the roof I thought was done and come here and trust me, that thing was as wavy as a bad day at the ocean. So we had, good thing he's a painter because he caught on a lot of stuff that I missed because I'm blind. What can I say, I'm blind. But he caught on a lot of the stuff and we blocked it and now it's damn good if I say so myself. So now, let's jump in there and see what he's up to. Hey, hey, don't walk so close. You might break the freaking camera, man. Jeez. Hey, I'm trying to film. Why are you locking me out? You have to film through the gloss when it comes to paint. Yeah, but I wanted to... Ah, you're such a... Now I'm fit to go in the paint booth, so let me go in there and show you, show you guys what he's up to. All right, here we got the mirrors, one in the back of the seats, uh, some splitters for the front, diffuser, wing, side skirts, and then these two bumpers are from the E90. He had a lot of stone chips in the front and some gouges in the back bumper. He just wanted to fix. And so he's going to paint these and then take out everything. So we don't have to worry about any of this stuff later. That's what you do when you forget your brand new paint boots at home. And you don't want to mess up your night. Looking good down there, Frank. Mm. I like the design. Yeah. Look at that. Now that's professional right there. Thanks. I wear the net. As we all know, Frank don't like solvent base paint anymore. He's all about the water base paint. And unfortunately, I did buy a solvent base paint and he keeps letting me know every second of the day and trust me, I will never live that down. So, oh well, too late now, but he's gonna give it a good wipe down, put a ground coat and then the fun begins. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, Atlantis Blue, ready to be put on the car. I can't wait. I can't wait. So paints mix, ready to go. The car has the ground coat. It's almost all one color now. And uh, I'm just going to stay out of his way and let him do his thing. Still looks good in white, but you know, blue is the thing. See, everything is all nice and one tone now, so that should get really good coverage. And then afterwards, we just rip that off when he's cleared and just clear everything at once. Work, 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 work
the first first coat there's two more to go but it's looking good already and uh, I can't wait to the other two coats and then three coats of PPG clear and then a lot of buffing afterwards but when it's done it's gonna be blinging thing is just coming out good because after this car is buffed and polished oh my god so Frank's mixing up over there yo he's mixing up the last batch of clear and then we're going to put it on and oh mommy so let's jump right into it <laughs> Okay guys, let me warn you now, the car looks damn good, but this is not the best reveal that I can do. Mr. Man, the painter, wasn't too happy with all the dust nibs that end up in the, um, the paint job. Because as you can see, the boot we were in, it, it pulls forward, it's not a downdraft. And he's been painting his whole, whole life with downdraft. For 20 years he's been painting with downdraft. And this one wasn't sucking the way that, you know... We would like it to there's dust on the car because it's a few days later after i brought it home as you can see i'm back home so 
you're gonna see some scratches on it because he he, he just starts going nuts because he, he he doesn't get paint jobs like this with maybe one or two dust nibs. This one had a few in there. And he wasn't happy, so he started already, and I'm like, hey, I didn't even reveal the car yet. And he's like, what? So let me give you a reveal. I know that's how what you guys wanted to see, not this mug. So let me take you to the car and show you what it looks like. Just check it out. Look at this thing. I know the sun is not all right now, and you can't see it too good. But man, as you can see, he started you know scratching out the dust nib so he can polish it away but just look how this thing turned out my gosh i can't wait till all the buffing sanding and buffing is done but there we go gentlemen now comes reassembly and the roof turned out freaking amazing so look at that carbon See, he found one dust nib right there that he's working on already. But man, just just look at this thing. It turned out freaking awesome. And he started on the trunk already, as you can see, just getting dust nibs. And man, it is butt smooth. So that's what 1500. He's gonna go 15, 3000, 5000. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. So now comes the hard part of buffing everything and this is gonna take a while because <laughs> he's a picky guy and I can understand why man this is he took a lot of time to prep but he didn't come out the way he wanted it's gonna be so mean with this front bumper on it after I'm done putting the rest of the carbon fiber bit on it I know some people complain that I'm not showing enough of my final product but there it is all painted up and ready for the buffet here are the side skirts over here rear bumper now comes the really hard part for us is the buffing and then the reassemble and I'm telling you, I was looking in the family room and the basement and my office and the dining room and all the parts is there. The seats are already dropped. Well, the back seats are already dropped off to get the leather done. I still have to drop the front seats off. And then comes the hard part. Those aren't hard, but putting all the other stuff together, like you can see. Let me show you. Look, there is nothing in there, man. This thing is but empty. All that has to get put back in and they're all over the place and the screws and the clips and oh, oh, oh. You know what just stay tuned because when this is done and I can't wait It's gonna look good because I'm going all out But that's it for now, but you're gonna stick around for the rest. Don't just wait for the okay I see you painted. That's it. No, no, no many more to come wheel brakes reassemble uh, Spoiler wings side skirt front lip. It's all coming. So you got to stay tuned for more, but that's it for this one for now, so laters! Yes,